Hello and welcome to a let's play of American Truck Simulator. Now, not getting off to a good start here, actually in the wrong yard. But what we are in is Dom's Peterbilt 379, or is it Dom 379? It's his Peterbilt. Anyway, this is a mod truck, it is Payware. I will put the link in the video description below if you would like to check out this truck. Uh, there is also a free version available for you to try on the website as well but uh, I don't know how often that one gets updated but anyway yeah we're doing a little bit of a let's play once I get into the right yard we're going to be picking up some concrete barriers in the in the Peterbilt Dom's or Dom 379 I've still got a lot of modifications to put onto this truck yet um, I've gone with the newer mirrors actually on the truck there is uh, there is some older mirrors available on the for this uh, mod truck with lots of customization options available um, the sounds have got a lot of Z, Z mod sounds on this uh, regarding the engines uh, and interior sounds I'm running Z mods for that uh, so uh, yeah I've got different uh, different sounds on the actual truck that you're hearing today but look out for future videos I will be uh, featuring this truck a little bit more um, I'm doing quite a lot of jobs on this truck I'm a little bit where am I actually going with this I've got to back this trailer I've got one of them load king trailers on so we're picking up um, a concrete barrier but we've got to reverse it looks like it wants us to park here. Now can I just pull forward and just reverse in there? I'm not too sure if there's enough room. I'll give it a go. I've not played this game for a while. Is there enough room here? Okay, so we've got to try and back this beast into that parking area to load up. And I'm not going to do it, am I? This, there's not, I don't think there's enough room to do it. There's no way. I'm, I'm just... No. Okay, so that's not a, that's not a good start. I've got a funny feeling it's going to be an exceedingly long day on American Truck Simulator today. Let's try again from the main road. We're currently driving today on the standard map for the game.
there we go finally looks like we've got this beast of a truck into its loading position that wasn't as easy as what I thought it would be when I originally came into the yard not been in this yard for a, for a while I don't think need a bit more practice in this yard <laughs> let's just straighten it up I'm not going to get it that perfect but let's just straighten it up and uh, load this truck up and uh, get out there on the road Okay, so to load up, we've actually got to uh, neutral, switch the engine off, and uh, press the enter key on the keyboard, and we should go through a very basic loading procedure. There's the truck. Ghost Rider paint job. Lots of paint jobs come with the uh, with the truck. Lots of customization options regarding the paint jobs. That's just one of them. Um, so we go through this pathetic loading procedure. What is this all about? That is just pathetic loading procedure. Lazy game coding. Come on, give us a better loading procedure. How long has this game been out and we still got loading procedures like that? That's just utter, that's just rubbish. Rubbish. Anyway, we've been loaded up. So let's get this uh, let's get this beast out on the road. Now just remember if you if you're thinking of buying this mod and it's up to you what you spend your money on at the end of the day, if you're not happy with the standard trucks in the game, there's lots of modifications and free mods out there. This is payware by the way, there is a free version to download. Again, I don't know how regularly if that's updated or, or if everything works on that, but you'll just get some of the basics of the, uh, of the truck uh, on, the, uh, on the free version. But uh, it's up to you guys what you actually spend your money on at the end of the day. Um, but uh, full links will be in the video description below regarding this, uh, this truck. But just remember the sounds that you're hearing on this at the moment. I've currently got uh, Z mods installed. The engine sound is uh, one of the Z mods. I'm still playing around trying to get the uh, the engine in the vehicle that I do actually like.
Okay, so we've been pulled in for the weight check. We've got to go on the scales. Now I came in here in one of these weight checks the other day when I last played and it says pull in right hand lane for loaded and the left lane for empty. So I actually, I was empty and I went through the left lane and I was empty thinking I didn't have to pull on the way bridge because it said left lane if you're empty and I got no load on I was I was running I was running empty and I got a $700 fine and I thought are you serious I mean what's the point of putting this, am I missing something here I mean what's the point of putting left lane empty and if you're running empty and you go through the left lane you're uh, you still get a fine I don't get that. So, so, regardless of you being empty or not, it appears you have to pull in onto that way bridge. I just don't get that. Okay, I don't know if you're aware of what's just happened, but we just had a warning light come up on the dashboard that we're low on fuel. Now that's not good. Now I never checked my fuel when I pulled off if I got enough in. I don't know how I don't know how far I've actually got to go, but uh, can't see on the map any fuel stations. But we'll go get some fuel anyway. Um, we'll, we'll just pull up here on the side, we'll put those hazards on, we'll put the map up and uh, we'll go get some fuel. I need I need fuel anyway, um, we've got plenty of time on this job to actually go and get some fuel. So uh, I'll just put the map up and uh, we'll reroute and uh, get some fuel.
Okay, this is not actually going that well. I've actually made a mistake. I've rerouted to a viable garage. Not having a good day. So somewhere down here, there should be a truck stop. It looks like it's uh, directly in front of us, somewhere on the uh, left-hand side. Unless we run out of fuel before we get there. The map's telling me to turn right, which is bizarre. Well, the sat-nav, it's saying I need to turn right, but the... Uh, the truck stops down here, somewhere on the left hand side, do we go in there, oh, that looks, that looks, that's where you get a burger from, we don't want a burger, there's a uh, fuel station on the right hand side but it doesn't let trucks in from the look of it. So there should be a bunker inside, so there should be a uh, truck stop just down here. There we go, I can see it. Now the way you fill up in this game is absolutely, again, it's just pathetic. I mean, how long's this game been out and you're filling up like this? I mean, it's just, I want to get out of the truck, I want to pick the pump up, I actually want to put it in the tank. It needs changing, this does, it's just, this is just dreadful, absolutely dreadful. I mean, forget about them viewpoints, them stupid, stupid viewpoints. I don't want to see viewpoints, I want to play a truck driving game, not a, not a tourist simulation game. I don't want to look at viewpoints. I want to play a truck simulator. I mean, that needs changing. It's really bad. You know, it's just... I mean, if I was the creator creating this game, I'd be embarrassed at that because that's just... that's just It's just bad. Two things that want changing most definitely are... Fueling up and loading up. Forget about them silly viewpoints. I mean, what's with you guys loving them viewpoints? I want to play a truck simulator. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a few other truck games coming out and they're sort of cottoning on to the bad bits in this game and making them bits better in their games. But overall, their games aren't very good. They're sort of doing quick cash grabs for consoles. And again, that's terrible. When I wish somebody would concentrate on making a solid truck simulation game. Now this game does have... It does have a lot of good points, a lot of good things going for it. It's probably the best truck simulation game on the on the market currently. American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. But uh, I just wish a couple of things were changed because the game sort of become more about cruising around in trucks rather than a truck simulation game. I mean, viewpoints didn't impress me. Not interested in viewpoints whatsoever. The trailers and the loads, great. The trucks, the standard trucks, pretty good. Could be better. But, uh, change that fueling up SCS software, it's dreadful. <laughs> anyway, let's soldier on. We've not got far to go.
so we should be coming to our destination it should be a left turn do we go in there no we don't i think it's the second second one here on the left if i'm correct so this is my first let's play in the dom 379 it's the peterbilt 379 mod truck it's payware i will put the link in the video description below and this this is my first let's play on the Dom 379. It's not gone that well, has it really? Um, first off, I was in the wrong yard, I think. And then I couldn't reverse. And then I was running out of fuel. And then I went to the wrong place. Eventually got some fuel. And now we're finally here. <laughs> it's been fun and games. What an adventure in American Truck Simulator. If you want to see more similar videos to this, smack that like button. Let's see if we can get more than five likes. We got five likes on the last American Truck Simulator video. Boy, wow. If you smack that like button, thank you very much. Now, I'm we unloading? I don't like the unloading sequences in this. I wish they'd really change it. Uh, I like the game get a little bit... Oh, we got to reverse in there. I'm looking, I thought I was going here under this crane. Oh no, I've got to do another reversing manoeuvre. Again, how would you unload this truck? This is, an, this is an ownable trailer, so I'm not actually parking the trailer here on the left-hand side now. I'm actually going to be unloaded there. Now, how would they unload that between... I think there was two reefers at the side of it. Anyway, there was two trailers. How are they going to unload that? That's not sim-like at all. So I suppose it simulates. We're probably going to be here quite a while unloading, but we don't see the unloading bit. I want, I'd like to see them change this in the game because this is just a cop-out. It's... Uh, I think we've established a couple of things in this let's play. Um, one, I don't like the loading. Two, I don't like the unloading. And three, I don't like the uh, fueling up. Oh, and four, I don't like the viewpoints. There's a few things I don't actually like. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a whinge, a bit of a moan in this let's play. Anyway, I've just got to back that in there. I've actually been playing American Truck Simulator over the Christmas period, so I've actually got quite a lot of recordings, so I will upload them. Now, some of them will have no commentary on, so there'll be videos uploaded of American Truck Simulator with no commentary on. So, you know, if you're a bit fed up of all this talking, there will be videos of no commentary on being uploaded as well. So, look out for future episodes of uh, American Truck Simulator. We do play American Truck Simulator on the channel anyway. It's a regular game. I just haven't been, I just haven't been uploading it um, as much just uh, just lately, but uh, I've got quite a lot of recordings of American Truck Simulator to actually upload when I get the time to upload them. But there you go. That's it. Game over. Switch the engine off and unload. Did we get an excellence on this? That's the Ghost Rider paint job. Lots of customization I've yet to put on that truck. There's, uh, there's a little bit more I want to put on it regarding the uh, lights and things. There we go. I did actually get excellent. Quite surprised at that. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.